Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. You can see there the US there again managed to post itself another positive, uh, positive candle even in the back of US durable goods orders. Disappointing. Um, we did see a, a little bit of a, of a drop back with the US dollar in some markets there as well, especially seeing um, a further decline in dollar yen. But looking at the US there right there, slightly on the wrong side just now, edging closer to that um, all time high there at 17,895. Was well, another record close last night. Next potential uh, support is at 17,738, um, with the Germany 30 still soldiering on very nicely there as well. Technicals as ever are slightly overbought, not surprising really, but we are trading above both moving averages and the momentum still remains in play. So looking at the UK 100 right there, uh, attempted again yesterday to break resistance, potential resistance at 67.71, um, another dodgy formation uh, following on from yesterday's, uh, from the previous sessions, um, kind of quite bullish candle there uh, towards the end of the session there, having come off significantly up the lows of that session, a little bit closer to potential support at 66.86. Um, very similar pattern today as to the US 30. Looking at Japan to do five, uh, we've actually had a, a, a failure there to break through 17,496 as that stronger yen finally begins to bite on Japanese equities in the short term. Bouncing off the 21 period SMA seems like a, a possibility there today. You can see we're almost at that level currently. We've got a crossover on the MACD and we've obviously had the selling signals on the RSI and the slow stochastic there already come through. So we might get a little bit of a sell off there in Japan to do five, especially if that yen strength gains um, a little bit of extra ground. Um, we are a good bit away from the next potential support at 16392. Um, but uh, this potential level here is not out of the um, is not out of play as of yet, but we do seem to be on the back foot a little bit this morning. So having a look at that dollar yen position, we're quite close to breaking through short term potential support at 17 spot 36. Cross over the MACD, um, crossing the 70% uh, level in the RSI, and obviously quite close to it in the slow stochastic right there. So dollar yen does look like it's got a possibility of breaking potential support today. Uh, which uh, could be a technical breakout. So for anybody who's long dollar yen, just be careful, and um, we'll see how that begins to play out. There is a, a fair amount of uh, data today, mainly European driven, well, completely European driven, UK house prices and Eurozone CPI. And if we fast forward, oh, sorry, that's actually tomorrow. If we go back on to today, um, we do have um, German uh, CPI. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Um, and obviously fast forward on to Friday there, you've got the house prices and the Eurozone CPI. So not a lot of American data, obviously thank Thanksgiving um, in the US yesterday probably doesn't uh, help add that little bit of extra volatility to markets right there, but that gives you a bit of flavor of what's going on. So looking at crude oil West Texas, uh, we managed to break through the short term potential support. We're pretty much on our way now to $70, spot 40 cents as a um, I guess some of the delegation of the OPEC members have already come out to say there isn't going to be any cut in production. They're desperate for non-OPEC countries to also cut uh, if they go ahead and do so, which obviously isn't going to happen. Uh, so crude oil, the fundamentals are stacked against it. 70 spot 41 is the next potential support level on that product. So gold um, sold off slightly yesterday, bounced off, and today, sorry, sold off, uh, bounced off potential support at 1186. Uh, still in the middle of two ranges, still in the middle of two um, moving averages as well. Um, 1186 could be an interesting point of entry, depending if you are bullish on yellow metal or bearish. So finishing up, Euro dollar had a, a little bit of a shot in the arm as the uh, dollar came off on the back of those durable goods, uh, durable goods order disappointment in the US. Um, however, I think the fundamentals are firmly stacked against the Euro with uh, potential stimulus, uh, rate cuts, etc, etc. Um, but one spot 2579 is a potential resistance to keep your eye on on Euro dollar if we do continue to get a little bit of upwards momentum right there. Um, for as long as we stay within this range, the pressure will still remain. If we broke above that and start to rechallenge one spot 2746, um, that might change things slightly. So I think this level is significant. We might not get there, but if we do, that is all going to be of, uh, of interest to many traders. And finishing up with GBP USD, um, it's back in the game, trading just above that 21 period SMA. Uh, still, all the kind of similar picture, but still firmly in a downtrend if you draw this line on here just now. But we're getting a little bit closer to it, which might coincide with this potential resistance level here at one spot 59.10. Uh, technicals crossover on the MACD, 
Uh, RSI had a buy signal as has had the slow stochastic. So this might be a little bit of a short squeeze there. It could be a, a technical breakout. Obviously, if you look at this level here from um, from back in June last year, uh, we are trading above that. It failed to do so for, for some time. And when it did break above that, it does, does look like a technical breakout. Now we're in the middle of another two set of ranges. So um, one spot 59.10 is a level to keep your eye on. So we've already kind of covered a lot to do about the market calendar, uh, not a huge amount of information out. Uh, keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your day going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.